Welcome back to Hannity. Gary Byrne, the former Secret Service officer who served in the Clinton White House, released a scathing new op-ed about Hillary's health entitled, I Protect Hillary Clinton in the Secret Service. Here's why her fainting video really scares me. Joining us now to explain more is the man himself, the author of Crisis of Character, former Secret Service officer Gary Byrne, also with us tonight, author of the upcoming book, Guilty as Sin, Ed Klein is with us. Uh, Gary, let's talk about it. Why? Tell us about this op-ed. Hi, Sean. How are you? Uh, what I saw, Sean, uh, the reason I wrote the op-ed was because uh, what, what scared me was that, that clearly Mrs. Clinton was having some kind of medical episode. Now, I am not a medical expert, as you know, but I am an expert in observation, and I'm also an expert on Secret Service procedures. And the first scene you see in that video, Sean, of Mrs. Clinton where she's leaning up against the ballard, clearly her body is stiff. And as the, the few seconds that, that shows her standing there, her head keeps raising further and further back. The woman on the left-hand side, the staff member, is, is, has her hand underneath her arm, clearly trying to help control her and support her. When the van pulls up, everybody who's ever gotten into a vehicle, a taxi, a van, watch Mrs. Clinton's action as the van pulls up. She stares straight ahead. She doesn't even acknowledge that the van is, um, is there. And then the, the uh, African-American agent walks around to the van, Sean. He opens the door and then uh, steps back and grabs Mrs. Clinton's left arm. The, the bald agent, who I believe is the ship leader, does something that's pretty uh, unusual. He walks between the open van door and the protectee. And the reason he does that is because he knows she can't move without his help. Then he takes her right arm, then the woman behind her grabs Mrs. Clinton under both armpits and they all start moving her towards the and van. And she's still collapsed. They move her to, right. As they move her, Sean, you can see she loses complete control to, to support herself. And then they pull her into the van as they're pushing her into the van. And they're so quick to try to get away from people seeing this that they actually move so fast that her shoe fell off and they left it on the sidewalk and, and on the street and somebody picked it up and handed it to the agent in the follow-up vehicle. This disturbs me greatly. Are you, I mean, are you worried at all about the Secret Service's handling of this? I mean, I hate to be critical of them. I do have my pin up here, um, and they do a good sure. job, and they put their life on the line for all of uh, our, our national leaders, and it's an important job. We've got to protect them. Um, right. But there seemed to be no, a have circle no... that covered what was going on. So right. Yeah, like so I that's covered standard procedure. Like that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, so that's, that's standard procedure. Everything they did was spot on to the training. I, I literally, as you know, I was a uniform division officer, but I worked at the training center, and I, used, I literally used to help train the agents in, the, in some of these skills. And everything they did was correct. Don't forget, they're not just protecting. What they did wasn't unusual. They weren't, just, they weren't really protecting Mrs. Clinton from a video camera. They're protecting her from somebody with a gun. It's all about Understood. assassination. Okay, I, look, but well, you, yeah. you're saying there's something seriously wrong with her. Now, I, there's a, a book by Dr. Connie Mariano. Do you remember her? Um, I do. I remember her well. Okay. Yeah. She, now, apparently, she was the White House doctor for the Clintons. She, quote, I was assigned right. as, I assigned a female nurse in civilian attire to accompany Hillary on the campaign trail. I notified the Secret Service she was on medication. In the event she was injured, excessive bleeding would be dangerous. And Hillary had lied at that time, telling her staff right. that she had pulled a muscle rather than saying she had a blood clot. So this would not be the first time, right. correct? Did you know that? No. Yes, actually, I did. Um, I don't remember from the time, but I've learned it since then. And I, 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 I do uh, remember uh, she was actually a Navy doctor, Dr. Mariano. She was a captain when I met her, and she retired as a one-star admiral. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, listen, I don't, none of this surprises me, Sean. And I realize they just re supposedly released her, released her medical records. The first thing I listened to is their language. We were releasing medical records. I don't believe a thing on there. Based on what I've saw over the years of, you know, um, uh, when, you know, for instance, Mrs. Clinton uh, first claimed after the Benghazi attack that it was a, uh, a video, and you go back to her husband claiming that he did not have an affair with the intern, Monica Lewinsky. I don't believe a thing out of their campaign's um, propaganda. Yeah. All right, Ed Klein, yeah. we do know that most voters doubt Hillary is telling the truth about her medical with condition. With good reason. And Bill Clinton now says she frequently collapsed. He actually exposed that. You've got the video of her, remember, going up the stairs in February. I mean, she could barely walk upstairs. Yeah. You have another uh, uh, 
Democratic uh, politician saying, yeah, I gave a speech with our Senator Whitehouse right. and saying she could barely walk up to the podium for crying out loud. Um, you know, and right. then there was another point where Hillary admitted she had collapsed a few times. Uh, she's perfectly right. fine except for ammonia. Um, pneumonia, that, that's a problem. They don't tell the truth, yeah. so I don't believe anything that their doctor is putting out because they can get any doctor feel good to say anything they want. Absolutely. Now, I've been for over two and a half years reporting on her health, as you know. Yeah. And I've been speaking to friends and associates who tell me when they visit Chappaqua, where the Clintons live, Hillary frequently faints or swoons. That when she sits down, she has to put her legs up because she's worried about blood clots. That she uh, has Huma Abedin bringing her cold compresses all the time. This is a woman who, what we've seen, this video, is just the tip of the iceberg of something that's been going on See, for a I long time. See, I agree with you. And, and the problem yeah. here is, you know, the media is so dishonest and so corrupt right. and so in the tank for her that they advanced the phony narrative, oh, it was so hot outside. It was 75 to 77 degrees and breezy. That is not hot. Yeah. Yeah. And pneumonia doesn't Sean, make you there's faint one more thing. also. True. Yeah. There's, there's one more thing I'd like to point out. If you saw anybody else show the same behavior that we saw Mrs. Clinton show, standing there leaning mm -hmm. up against that ballard, the Secret Service would have taken them immediately to the hospital. So what that tells me is that whatever's wrong with her, they, they appear to be treating it, and the service knew she was going to get treatment, either in the van or at the family member's apartment that they went to. If you saw anybody else behave like that, you would immediately take them to the hospital. I, I agree, and Ed, that's, that's, you know she has control. So they the, got in the car, and the, I would argue that the New York Post had it right. The reason she didn't want to go to the hospital, because then she would have to disclose what her real condition right. is, and they don't want to and tell she, the American people the exactly, truth. Exactly, and I still think they're not it's telling certainly the possible, truth. Yes. But what happens yes. if she now gets back on the campaign trail and she faints again? A second time. Let's see what happens. That will There'll be, be another set of something. lies. Yeah. All right, guys, thank you right. very There'll much. There'll be another set of stories. Yeah. Uh, at the very minimal. Yeah. All right.